Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you and this time I'm going to show you how to clear the memory on your Windows computer without having to reboot. I did make another video previously about the importance of rebooting and shutting down the computer regularly, which you should be doing, but sometimes you may need to keep the computer on for more than just a day or two at a time because you need to keep some things open, but the memory usage will build up and you want to clear that memory out. So I'm going to show you a couple ways of doing that. First thing, other than rebooting, if you open the task manager, you can see here what the memory usage is. And if you're not familiar with the task manager, just clicking on anything here changes what appears on the right where you see the details. If you click over into the processes here, and this is using Windows 11, we can sort any of these uh, by CPU, memory, disk usage, and sort it by ascending or descending order. And we can see what's chewing up all the space. Other than closing the programs, you could right click on anything that's running and go to end the task for it. And that will clear it out of there and make a little bit of a difference. If we go back to the main window here so we can see the details of what's being used, we want to make some major changes in here. So Microsoft's provided a free tool here for managing the memory and I'll provide a link to this in the description of the video. There's download RAM map so you can click on that to download it. Once it's downloaded you want to extract the files and you'll see that there's a few different versions of it depending on the type of system you're using if 32-bit 64 AMD processor. Well, we're going to go with the 64-bit after clicking yes to any user account control messages, you may be prompted the first time to agree or select to agree to the agreement and you will get this window up here and this gives you quite a bit of detail. You can look at the different tabs and such, but we want to focus on two different things here. So we want to look at what happens down here as I click on these things. So I'm going to go up to empty and we're going to go to the standby list first and look at what happens to the cached section. We're at 3.8 gigs. I'm going to click empty standby list and we're down below a gig, right down to 140 megabytes. But as quick as I see that, it's increasing again. So it's got to make use of what it needs, but at least it's going to clear out what it doesn't need and start fresh again. Now, the main memory usage here, you can see what's being used, and that's changing a little bit as I'm talking. Right now, 5.7 gig used, 10.1 is available. So I'm going to go back up to empty and we're going to empty working sets and see what happens to the usage and available memory. So the 10.1 available memory is increasing right now and it's taking its time as it goes through it. 10.1 is looking like it's gone up to 12.5 and now it's starting to go down again because it's always going to be using stuff but it's going to stay close to that for long enough and as you work on things throughout the day it's going to build up again so you can go always go back in here anytime and clear these two out so you may find yourself going in here to empty the working sets throughout the day to just keep things working better and the standby list for the cached memory. So those are the two main ones that you want to focus on in this program. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you did find it helpful. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Even better, give it a super thanks. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.